Hello everyone, in this tutorial we explain how to find where a Llama stores downloaded models on Linux systems. Namely, if you want to inspect the downloaded models or if you want to properly uninstall a Llama, it's very important to know where a Llama stores the models on the local computer. A Llama stores models in the models folder that contains these two subfolders. Model blobs, these are large files that store the model parameters and data of a model. They are stored as blobs so that they can be reused between models that share various prompts. And then we have another folder called manifests. These are files that contain metadata and other files that specify the architecture and configuration of the model. The main issue is how to find these folders and corresponding files. How models are created? When? Well, when you run, for example, these commands, olama run, llama 3.18b, this model will be downloaded. Or if you run a similar command and download a similar model, the model will be downloaded. Another way to download the model is to run pull, and you can also download the models. The models will be stored in the default folders set by Olama. And let's find where are these folders. First, we have to make sure that we have plocate on our system. Consequently, let's open a terminal. Over here, let me clear everything. And first of all, I'm going to install plocate. plocate is a tool for searching files and folders. It's very simple to use. Then I will update the database of plocate and here it is. Just wait for a second. Now, let's run this command plocate on llama. This should find folders and files that contain the word llama in their name. So let's see what's happening. Okay. We have this installation folder, then we have this user share folder, and over here on my desktop I have a folder called Llama. Basically I'm making uh, this video tutorial and I'm storing my videos in this, in this uh, folder, so this folder doesn't count. And let's see at the beginning, and then we have these Olama.service and default target files and they're stored here in the system folder. Okay, but we don't see any model stuff. Now, to see the model files, you need to run this sudo plocate llama. This will actually search for all the files and folders containing llama with super user rights. So, and you can see here, aha, uh -huh. we can go up, 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 all the way up. And over here we can see something very interesting. Models are actually stored in this folder. You can see models and you can see manifests and you can see blobs, blobs in this folder. So let's navigate to this folder. I will simply copy the path and then over here I will pass the path. And then if I try CD, to access this folder I will not be able to access. Permission denied. This means that I don't have currently permission to go to that folder. Okay, not a big deal. If you type this, sudo su, you will be in root. And then you can execute this command once more. And you can go to these, this folder. And over here you can start Nautilus. Let me just... Okay, and here they are. There are blobs and manifests. If you click here, here are all the files of the model. You can see they are 4.7 GB. This is because I downloaded the 8B model and consequently here are the files and here are the manifest files. And that's it. Okay, thanks for watching.